If the kind of fame and adulation bathing Lady Gaga attached to the more notable achievements of, say, Warren Buffett, or if the moral praise showered on Mother Teresa went to someone like Lloyd Blankfein, who in guiding Goldman Sachs towards billions in profits has done infinitely more for mankind. Right. Well, this is market fundamentalism. Just like America is now hiring al-Qaeda in Syria to make way for a pipeline for Saudi Arabia, then Forbes magazine points to a financial terrorist like Warren Buffett who's in the securitization business, financialization business, who has done more to destroy the American economy than almost anyone except for Lloyd Blankfein. They've all been caught engaged in massive fraud. They've had to pay small civil fines as part of rigging the judicial system and the legal system with the money they make in this financialized Ponzi scheme. And Forbes magazine is a shameless promoter of market fundamentalism or market terrorism. This is an article that's an opinion piece, a commentator, an outside commentator who posted this on there. He's an Ayn Rand fanatic. So he's looking at the profits, the so-called profits that Lloyd Blankfein has stolen from the rest of the population through fraudulent mortgage-backed securities, through front-running markets, through high-frequency trading. And he's saying that this is in an absolute objectivist, fundamentalist way that the profits are all that matters. And the fact that he stole it from you, from your granny, tough luck. That's that's capitalism and his version of it. Right. Well, we've seen this with other fascist regimes. As the wealth confiscation gets more pronounced, those who are doing the stealing, whether it's the Nazis in the 30s or Warren Buffett in the 2013 period, they scapegoat the losers. So the losers are being scapegoated. I've already mentioned the black community in America is being in prison at record amounts. The prison population in America is the fastest growing population. The prison uh, population in absolute terms is higher than any other country in the world. And that's Forbes is assisting in this scapegoating uh, of, and pretty soon prisons become concentration camps and they become extermination camps. That's the final solution.